Welcome back, family. I'm Brian JLC. You know, today's episode, we're talking about the trainer plan. It's gonna help you bust through this sub 20 5K barrier again. Let's get to it. So it is Friday, and I just finished my first workout of the day up in the gym. I'm really gonna hit it hard with the kettlebells this time around as it comes to strength trainers. It's just a lot more convenient for me. So today I got some Turkish get-ups in there, uh, swings. Uh, what else we do? We got some pull-ups, push-ups, and kicked it off with some, uh, kicked it off, ended it off with some snatches as well too. So strength portion is done for right now. And now we on to the run part later on. So all right now I'm gonna get something to eat. I'm gonna relax for a little while. It's just about to be noon. So I'm gonna holler at y'all a little later on, like around six o'clock or so, when I get to my track workout. So I'll see y'all then. Six and a half hours later. It is a windy day out here today, family. But welcome back again. Workout number two for the day. We are back at the track. We got 200 meter repeats again. So today's workout is gonna be four by 200 meters with 200 meter recovery. Uh, we'll follow that up with two by one mile threshold intervals with the one minute rest in between them. And we'll follow that up with four by 200 meters again for the end of the workout. But of course, before we get to that, we gotta get to this warm up and I gotta rap with y'all. So let's get to it. Another windy windy day. I don't know why I'll be attracting this wind. But besides all that, the theme and title of today's episode is Do I train as the athlete that I am or the athlete that I hope to be? So what does that actually mean? Basically what I'm saying is for my workouts, do I train according to my goal race pace or do I train according to my current fitness? Now, before we get into answering that question, we gotta take a trip back down memory lane to when I first trained for this sub uh, 25K about three years ago. So at that time, my thought process was I'm gonna train according to my goal race pace, which uh, it's 626 per mile or about four minutes per kilometer. Now, I will say this, and let's keep this in context. I did do my due diligence because I was coming into that training block having run a 20, 57, 5K and a 559 mile trial. Uh, you know, once before, it wasn't like I ran a 24, 25 minute 5K, and then one day I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go sub 20. Like, no, I worked my 5K pace down to a sub 21. I ran that time trial, and in all actuality, my predicted 5K finish was really about 1955 or so, according to that mile time trial. So, I thought that I was training according to my goal race pace, training the athlete that I hope to be, but I was really training according to my current fitness, which was the athlete that I was. So, in all actuality, I was doing the right thing. So, with that epiphany, I've decided to follow that same blueprint and train according to the athlete that I am today. Now, the big difference between back then and right now is then is we. Back then I was predicted to run a sub 20 based on that recent mile time trial. Right now, I'm predicted to run between a 21-21 to 21-30 based 
based on my recent 8K and half marathon, which I just ran within the last couple of weeks. So, my head is telling me, hey man, you need to train according to your goal race pace so you can get yourself acclimated to running at speed again. And my heart is telling me, slow down, bro. Calm down. This ain't three years ago. <laughs> and even though, and I talked about the last video, that I wanna debunk these myths about everything going downhill from here as I age, I still wanna respect the fact that the aging process is very much real. And there are certain things, certain changes within my body and metabolism and things that are just gonna happen naturally. So I still have to respect that process as well. So with that being said, I'm gonna get into why it's important to train as the athlete I am today over the athlete that I hope to be on July 12th. But I'm gonna finish this warm up, get to my dynamic movements, get through this workout, and then I'll touch back with y'all and finish this conversation either during or after my cool down. All right, I'll see y'all after a while. Let's get it. Workout complete. Let's get it. All right, family, we all done here. Just finished up the mile and a half cool down. Workout went well. I want to say in total it was a little over four miles, like an 815 average for the whole workout, including uh, rest periods and everything else. Uh, it was a good one, man. It was a nice little change of pace. For the first full 200s, I pretty much uh, eased myself into it. I didn't go as hard as I did on Tuesday. Started to pick it up towards the last two. The threshold intervals was pretty good. I actually felt pretty smooth on those. Uh, the goal was to be about uh, 711 to 721. I have the uh, paces up on here as I'm talking right now so you can see what those averages were for those two miles. But felt pretty smooth on those. My last four 200s, you know I wanted to ramp it up a little bit not really go super hard. Most of these I was running into this wind, so it was tough, but all in all, another dope workout. I'm excited about where I'm gonna go from here. This is first week down, we got seven weeks to go, man. Let's get it. All right, man, I had to throw the hoodie on. It got a little chilly, but let's get back to the topic at hand. <laughs> so why is it important that I train as the athlete that I am right now rather than the athlete that I hope to be on July the 12th? And you probably can already guess what I'm going to say. The first big reason is, and it's the fact that we want to minimize the risk of overtraining. It makes no sense to run yourself into the ground trying to hit paces that just may be too hard for you right now even if that is your goal race pace. Let's flip this and think about if we're uh, talking about strength training, right? And maybe I wanna do a powerlifting competition. If my goal is to deadlift 315 pounds on July the 12th, and every time I step into the weight room to train, I try to deadlift 315 pounds, you guys would think that I'm crazy. You will understand that that is not the smart way to train in order to reach that 315 pounds on the competition day. But 
but for whatever reason, when it comes to running, we tend to throw that logic out the window. Why is that? Training at a future level of fitness causes you to run your workouts faster than you're supposed to, which then changes the stress, the specific stress that you should be putting on your body. Now this moves you away from specific adaptation that you should be aiming for that directly affects your running performance. So now your aerobic paces ain't your aerobic paces. Your threshold paces ain't your threshold paces and so on and so forth because you're running everything too fast. Training at the appropriate paces allows your body to make the specific adaptations to get the best performance out of yourself on race day. Now I'm not saying this to say that you can't run race pace workouts, but race pace workouts or race pace should not be the only pace that you're running in all of your workouts. Now I hope that that all made sense. And if you've ever asked yourself the question why you should train at your current fitness rather than your desired fitness, I hope I was able to break that down for you appropriately. We about to take the last part of this video to the car. I'm starting to get cold. All right, man, that's way better. I feel a lot better now. So on a similar but different note, as far as the uh, actual training plan, I'm just gonna use the Tracksmith training plan that's included with the registration for the 5,000 meter race. Um, I just didn't feel like creating my own 5K plan like I did last time. Right. Um, after studying their plan and looking at it, I actually think it's a well thought out plan and I think it's appropriate for somebody like myself that doesn't have a coach right now, but still wants um, a program that's going to push me to get better than 5K. So I'm just going to ride out with that one and trust the process. And we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up, family. As always, I appreciate y'all for rocking with me for the entire episode. If you do have any questions, especially concerning this uh, episode topic, man, drop the things down in the comments. And please, please, please like this video, share it with the Run Fam, and if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to the channel. And we talking running, we talking 5K, and we gonna bust out another sub 20. I love to have y'all join in and rock with me on this journey. And if you have been rocking with me already and you wanna support the channel, please check out the ambassador links that's in the description. For discounts off your athletic brewing and you can products. And I thank y'all in advance. Until next week, family, I'm Run JLC, and I'm signing out. Peace.